Hi everyone and welcome to this video. I'm recording this video actually after having recorded many other episodes for the free full stack course and I feel like I need to address uh, an issue that some of you have raised for instance about this course. Um, for many of uh, the other courses that I upload I try to upload an entire course in one video and that that has been the goal for many of my courses such as the river pot course uh, pretty much all the uh, flutter state management courses and all my uh, free flutter course as well uh, and that that was like how i've designed those courses i've wanted them basically to be going from point a to point b and then be finished basically however however my goal with the free full stack course is not that we go from point a to point b but it is like going to be an evolving course i don't want this course to just go from one point to the other and just finish my goal with this course is that we actually explore many different options of, of creating for instance backends apis integrating with flutter and rust and it is pretty much going to be a never-ending course it's going to be evolving all the time of course we're going to like go ahead and create our backend first with django and django rest framework and then go ahead and for instance integrate with flutter and rust however that's not just going to be that and then the course is going to be finished once we've done these things we're going to explore other things such as nest.js we're going to look at express for instance and javascript and typescript so this course is going to be an evolving course with many different things coming in and many different things maybe getting removed it's like an evolving living thing whereas my other courses they basically go from point a to point b so um and also given that my resources and my time is like uh, limited i cannot be working on many things at the same time sometimes other important things can come along for instance the river pod course it was a 17 hour course it took about three and a half months months i think uh, almost four I mean, if I really think from the beginning to the end, it, it took almost six months, but actively working on it was about three and a half months. When those things come along, then they take priority from me and then take time from me. <clears throat> so I won't be able to fully engage with, for instance, this course or other courses. So uh, I hope that this is um, something that you know by now that, yeah, I'm just one person working on these courses. And if something more important comes along, then I have to prioritize that thing, whatever it is. And sometimes this course is my priority as well. So sometimes this course takes priority over other things that I'm that I'm doing. So if you're ever wondering, oh, but why aren't there new episodes coming as fast as other courses? Or why can't you just upload the complete course? I hope that then that you have the answer to those questions. It's just because this course is going to be... Um, I hope that this course will never fully finish because... Uh, because I want it to be living, I want it to be like evolving. I want us to be able to go ahead and create different backends, explore different technologies, look at Nest.js, for instance, and, and not just settle with Django and Django, Django REST framework. So if you're if you're into that, if you're into this uh, kind of living type of material, never ending type of thing, then I think you will really enjoy this journey. But if you're into just going from point a to point b and then being done with it then you'll just need to wait until new episodes are available for this course and then that we can um complete basically the steps that we said we're going to complete from the beginning meaning that we're going to create like a, a an api backend with rest apis and endpoints for uh, an e-commerce type of solution and then we're going to create the flutter application and then the rust application at that point you can basically call it quits and say okay I went from point A and point B, I did what I had to do, and then I don't want to continue with the course anymore. But if you're into this kind of living kind of material that constantly evolves and we add new things, then I think you're going to really like this course because um, I really hope that we can't just say, okay, we call it quits now and finish the course. So uh, I hope I cleared some of the confusion and uh, some of the questions that I get usually for this course. And please just bear with me because I'm just one person and I also have a full-time job. And I have a family, so I cannot be dedicating 24 hours a day for any specific course. So I need to ensure that basically my family and my well-being is top priority and the time that I get after my work that I can be working on various courses on YouTube. So thank you for uh, listening to this video or watching this video and listening to what I had to say. And I hope that you can enjoy the rest of the course.